Sagittarius, what's poppin'? All right, song that's playing for you is Savage Mode. All right, so you may be in a space or you just may be, your masculine energy may be real aggressive right now in regards to how you express or how you feel or how, or in regards to what you're working on. It's like you're real defensive in regards to what you got and what you're holding on because you came, it's like you've been in a space once upon a time where you invested in mentalities, people, places, and things, and a mindset or just a habit, routine patterns that weren't aligned with who you were. And now it's like that made look. I'm telling you, so you invested in something that may ain't make you feel good. And that made you flip on your savage switch. You feel me? So now your masculine energy is real cutthroat. In regards to how you express your feelings. Or in regards to how you invest yourself in the things you invest yourself in. It's like you change, you flip. Now you, now you know what you want to do. Now you know what you want to invest yourself in. Now you know how you want to express yourself and or give. Now you now look, now you're going a little savage at it. You had to kill something. Whether it was an aspect of you, an idea, or relationship, partnerships, mentalities. You feel me? Because some had you caught up in your mind. Some had you stuck and brought you negative feelings. It made you it made you not feel good about what you was investing in. It made you feel like something you was investing in was unstable. Hold on, I'm going to hit you with a bougie one. I'm going to hit you with a bougie one and then we're going to get the ball rolling. I need some water. I need some water. I should have got a water bottle before I did it. But it's going to be fine. Songs twisted. See, I'm telling you, something had you a little twisted. And that made you flip on your savage switch because you had to kill something you loved. Or some something, something it's like an aspect that you died in a situation. You can't you can't never be the same after after what has occurred in your life. After what was said or what transpired in a relationship, partnership, friendship, love situation, whatever it is, family, friends, put a title on the space. That go on the space, but you can't feel the same no more, Aries. I mean, you may be dealing with an Aries, but Sagittarius. Something got you a little twisted up. Or something had you twisted up. Or you got someone outside of you twisted up. You wanna put your look, put your foot in the shoe that fit you. Woo! That's all speculation though. Now we're about to get the ball rolling. What's really going on, Sagittarius? Talk to me. Yeah, look, you found some sort of stability, all right? Whether it was a mental stability, emotional stability, or tangible, tangible third dimensional stability. Your mind is in a space and your third dimensional body is in a space and you feel solid. You feel stable. Like you feel like this is this is real. This is it for me. I'm, I'm holding on to these mindsets, these mentalities, because they're going to get me from point A to point B. You feel me? This way of thinking, this way of expressing, communicating, feeling, whatever it is. You feel me? You see something that's tangible. You're holding on to what's tangible. It's like you made sense out of your reality after you were in a twisted state, or you made sense out of something that was twisted. And now, since you made that sense, you ain't letting that go. You, if you can make sense, you can make dollars, said Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Look, because you was looking at something. You looked at something. You looked at something. You was like, all right, what am I investing myself in? How am I feeling? How am I thinking? Then what are the ideas I develop when I involve myself in this space? You stepped outside of yourself. And look, you went from the, what is it, seven? Yeah, seven of coins to the four of coins. So it's like you you let go of what wasn't working after you took a step out. You was like, all right, let me let me weed, let me pull out a couple weeds, let me clean house a little bit, do some maintenance, some yard work. You feel me? In regards to this space, this space could be your own mind, your mental space, your how you think, how you express. Each coin represents a different personality trait. All right, maybe I shouldn't act like this. Maybe I, maybe this way's look a little twisted, a little unbalanced. You feel me? All right, let me let me go ahead and take what I can stand on though out of this situation. Let me take the mentalities and ideas I can represent, and let me not work on the ones that keep me unbalanced. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. 
Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands, whether it's someone outside of you, if it's you versus someone outside of you, it's like someone outside of you may have brought passion to you regarding their passion in some way, shape or form. It's, and it's like and if someone in, had passion about something internally and it's like you felt you may have felt the passion from a situation or a space you were in. And that made you look at what you were invested in, how you think it made you lean on your, take a step from outside of your passion. Cause you see how he, he rested himself upon a wand. And you see this wand right here. It's like someone brought a passion to you. If it's you versus someone outside of you. And that made you take a step back and look at what you were doing and separate from a couple things. Because you downsized. You went from the four. It's like you got to the four from the seven. Because of a passion that was expressed to you. From a feminine energy. It doesn't. Feminine energy does not have to be a female. It could be a male who's in tune with their. Who's passion. <laughs> who, who, who carries their passion with their feminine energy. You feel me? It's like some, someone who may express their passion as a. As if it's a mother talking about their child. You did. You gotta have, I mean, you gotta, everybody got to. You gotta have feminine energy to nurture anything, to invest yourself in anything. You dig me. It's like someone may have made, it's like, it's almost like someone made you think. By expressing themselves to you. If it's you versus someone outside of you. If it's you versus you, then it's like, because you downsized, now you gained how, to, now you know how to feel about your passion. Because you took a step back, because you analyzed the situation, you gained, you realized the truth about something with the high priestess. And that truth, now it's like, now you're walking in your truth. Because if it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you brought you a truth regarding a passion or someone outside of you just brought you passion. Someone outside of you brought you fire, brought you enlightenment, brought you some sort of information. All right. Because it is high priestess, some sort of truth. And that made you look at what you were investing in. And that made you downsize in some way, shape or form. That made you shift. Love all. Look, love all. God damn. Now, now you, now you change, now you changing how you view, now you changing how you love, how you give your passion, how you express your mentality and or your mind. You expressing your truth now, if it's you versus you, because you know how you feel and you can't, you can't, it's like you got no other choice but to feel because it's the truth. You, you can't not, you can't, it's like you can't ignore the truth. Yeah, now if it's you, if it's you versus you, because this is like it, the queen, not only is the high priestess a feminine energy, but the queen of wands is a feminine energy as well. They're both women. So this is internal. It's like, it's almost like you've gained awareness. You know the truth for self now because of an experience. Now, whether it's you, someone outside of you, or you are in a space. That space could have had people, places, things, or you were just in a different mental space than the space you were usually in. You feel me? Than the space you usually found stability in. You in that space made you become aware of a truth. Because in that truth brought passion to you. It made you feel a type of way. And that feeling made you look at what you were doing. And now you you found you found you picked the stability out of what you were doing. And you're it's like now you're no longer going in a certain direction. Or you're no longer bringing your mind in this certain type of way. You're no longer expressing your mentalities in a certain type of way. You dig me? Because of some because of a truth. Whether that truth is a realization you had because someone said something outside of you or it's just something you became aware of after you watched a movie or you just had an experience. You feel me? It's like an experience changed you a little bit. A lot of it. Because you went from the seven to the four. You downsized in how you think about certain ways or how you perceive or how you receive a certain type of mentalities, ideas, people. Places now you love all. It's like you shifted. 
So you look, cause something was brought to you. Whether it was emotional ideas, it was like someone brought you emotions. Whether it was emotional based ideas or someone literally expressed how they feel to you. And that put you in the space to become aware of the truth. High priestess. And that truth put you in the space to downsize in some way, shape or form. It made, a truth made you stop investing because someone expressed some feelings to you. What someone brought to you, whether this is a person outside of you or this is you, your higher self bringing you, bringing you messages in regards to feelings. That made you pull back. Look at what you were doing. Because you see, you, what, what was brought to you made you see the truth. In regards to what you were passionate about, how you gave yourself, how you expressed yourself. And that made you look and downsize. Now you only holding on to what's stable, what's solid, what's real. Because you know what's real now. Because you know the truth now. It's real hot for Sagittarius right now. Alright, whether someone's upset at you or now you hot, you passionate, you fiery now, you are a Sagittarius, you feel me? You don't have to let me know though, I'm a fuck with you. You know what I 